proactively go to the shooter if they have students that they need to be protected. But isn't she protecting more students if she goes out and addresses the shooter before you can do any more damage to others? That's not no. <laughs> That's not necessarily true if she's not on she's just going out there just looking for her. I can talk to anybody out of <laughs> she totally came out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm interested, Jake, with what you're saying. It's my first party with my students. What if this happens on my planning period? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as a student, what would you want me to do? I would say just by yourself, to protect yourself, honestly. Contact the party with me. Because if he's armed, you know, not hesitate. Uh, your own life matters just as much even if you are a teacher. How long does it take the authorities to get here, Lincoln? Um, I think the well, response time for like normal EMS and like 911 is around like 10 to 5 minutes. But um, the spot, I don't know if we have that. If it's okay, so five minutes and Mrs. Isler's on her planning period and may or may not be able to affect the change in that shooter. Do you think she should still wait? Or the same thing. I don't think she should proactively be looking for him. Uh, what if it's my choice? I mean, there, there are some people who like, I went to school to teach K through three. I did not sign up for this hunting down people, you know. It's, uh, yeah, the school shouldn't put that expectation on you, but if, it, if you feel like you should need to, or you can, and you're capable, you should. One, one last question. Uh, are you aware of any educational programs across the state or the universities that are or that are training teachers in active shooter situations or providing courses on active shooters? Uh, not in Kentucky, but I saw somewhere where um, actual police departments are taking uh, people and they're going through situations like that. And I don't know if that's like um, certification for those teachers, but I know that they're And just to follow up that, um, every other year, we have to go through CPR training in case one of you has something happens in my classroom. Should we have to go through some kind of training like that? Not uh, yeah. Uh, even if it's not like you have the weapon, I think there should be training to uh, just help in that situation if there's after school shooter. I don't think the lockdown drills. So I think, yeah, there should be. <laughs>